let's talk something about circular permutations suppose we have four letters a b c d and i want to know how many permutations i can make around this circle before we made permutations or we calculated permutations along a straight line now we want to know if i want to arrange these letters around this circle for example i can arrange a b c d so i want to know how many arrangements can i make from these four letters if i arrange them around this circle that's why we call it circular permutations still you will use the same formula we have studied before for permutations when no repetition is allowed but we need to change something and i want you to understand that why we do why do we need to change that now suppose from out of those four letters a b c d i have arranged them like this i put a at the top b on the side c at the bottom and d on the left side but someone else may arrange them like this you see the difference because i put a at the top but now someone else will decide he will put a on the left side and then b is here c is here and d is here if you feel that the difference is just the uh, position of these letters so let me put them side by side uh, suppose someone chooses this arrangement he puts a here and then he goes clockwise b and then he puts c and d of course then we will arrive at a now someone else puts a at the bottom he starts from the bottom and then he goes clockwise like this b c d and then of course we will arrive at a because it is a circular permutation so my question is these two circular permutations are arrangements are they different or are they two different permutations just think about it are these two circular permutations different from each other or not so let me tell you the detail that they are not different the only difference is that that one started from the left side of the circle another one started from the bottom of the circle but the rel but the relative positions of the letters are same for example if i start my journey from a and i go clockwise i will first meet b so now come to the second if i start from a if i start from a and i go count, uh, i go clockwise i will meet b okay the next if i b on the left figure if i move from b clockwise i will meet c similarly if i go clockwise from b i will meet c so the relevant positions you should see from c to d d to a c to d and d to a their relevant positions are same because if you see their neighbors for example d d has c on one side and a on the other side and that is the same case the d has a and then if i go to the other side there is c their relevant positions are same there is no change in them so they are not two different permutations it is just Uh, the reason that they are actually rotated by 90 degrees if you feel like that that the whole circle was rotated by 90 degrees in counter clockwise direction so that's why we find a here so there is actually no change in their relevant position the whole thing has been rotated in, by 90 degrees in counter clockwise direction but there is no change among these four letters
so it means they are not two different permutations they are actually the same permutation so how to solve this confusion here is the point we can fix one letter for example out of our four given letters i will fix a at the top of the circle suppose i can choose any position because now it will not matter where i will fix a but we have to fix a somewhere and now we will compute all the possible permutations among the other three letters in this case or whatever is left to you just fix one choice out of the all the given choices and then calculate all the permutations for rest of the choices you have for example for the other three i can calculate it should be 3p3 and the total number of permutations i can make from the other three choices is six so i can make six circular permutations so do you know the difference between a normal permutation and a circular permutation you just have to decrease suppose if you are given four choices just decrease n by one take it three and then calculate all the possible permutations among them and that will be the total number of permutations you can have so just skip one because you have to fix one out of them in order to calculate all the other permutations so in this situation suppose i choose this configuration i fix a at this position and now you see that because in the formula you see 3p3 and it uh, tells me that i can have six permutations so here are the six permutations here the first second third fourth fifth and sixth do you see in all of the cases a is at the same place because it is fixed and now i have all the other all the permutations from the other choices for example in the first c is here and then d and b then in the second once again c is here but now b is on the left side d is on the right for the other now i will calculate permutations when b is at the bottom so d c and c d and then i have d at the bottom so see all of these permutations are among the other three given choices a is always fixed so this is how we calculate circular permutations just decrease n by one and then calculate the circular permutation that is the difference when you are dealing with a circular permutation let's solve a simple question the governor of the punjab calls a meeting of 12 officers in how many ways can they be seated at a round table so table is round and they will sit around this table of course it's a circular permutations so total number of choices are 12 but because you are calculating a circular permutation decrease it by one so n equals 12 minus 1 is equal to 11 now n is 11 because one officer will serve as a reference and that is gone when you fix one out of given choices just assume that choice is gone from your calculations so now you are left with 11 officers and just calculate all the possible permutation possible with those 11 choices and those are the actual permut circular permutations so 11 p 11 and my calculator tells me that 11 p 11 equals oh my god it's a long number so it's 3 9 9 1 6 8 0 0 permutations are the arrangements they can be seated at a round table let's solve another question because there is a little twist for this question how many necklaces can be made from six beads of different colors so suppose this is a thread because it will serve as a necklace and then 
I have six beads. So one bead is here. And then although they said that all the beads have different color, but let's assume. So now I have four, five, and now sixth bead can be here. So now the necklace is ready, right? So they want us to calculate that how many different necklaces can be made from these six beads. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So of course, this problem is related to circular permutation and you know how to solve the problem. So let's go and solve the problem. So we have six beads and you know for a circular permutation, you have to take six minus one equals five. The total number of choices available to you are five because you will fix one bead for as a reference. And now the total permutations possible for the choice we have five P of course size of the permutation is also five and 5p5 5 5 equals 120. So you can tell the manager that, sir, we can make 120 different designs of necklaces from six beads of different colors. But there is a twist. You see, when you have a necklace like this, that there is a thread and beads are there you see the they always have the choice the user user can have always the choice for example they can flip it when someone wants to wear this necklace they can flip it for example they can bring this side to the other way and this side can go this way so they can flip it horizontally to make it look like this that the blue bead is here and then we have all the other beads because they are central it will not make any difference and a red bead will appear here so you see it is just a reflection from here to here because it is mere thread and when you want to wear or anyone wants to wear they have the choice they can either hold it this way or this way or they can just flip it to to make it look like this so you see there is a reflection and it is not a new design right if you make uh, two necklaces one this and another this and you say oh we have two different designs of necklaces one is here and another is there the the buyer may ask you that why are they different i can make this one to look like this one just by flipping he will just rotate his hands he will put this end to the other hand and he will just shift the positions of these two sides by exchanging the hands and now it will this one will look like that one so he will say what is the use they are not two different designs this is actually one design the only difference is just you have to flip them horizontally so to um, to manage this problem i think that how many different necklaces we can make it's not 120 it's 120 divided by 2 we have to we have to subtract half of those reflection permutations because they are useless in our case so 120 divided by 2 so you can tell the manager that sir we can make actually 60 different designs of necklaces from six beads of different colors and i hope you will get a raise in your salary